All right, what we have for you today is having some trouble on my 12 Impala here. It's not really going to do it now the car's been sitting overnight, but uh, give you a little. Uh... See, now it's working. Anyways, well, what's happening here is after I've been driving in the car for 25, 30 minutes, I'll stop on the way home, get my mail, whatever, get back in the car. Blower fan doesn't kick on. And I can turn the damn thing no matter what. doesn't do anything. So what I've been doing is coming over the passenger side and giving a little kick right there. And then she suddenly springs back to life. So um, we're going to change that blower fan out today. Follow along. So I went on Amazon and I looked at blower, phone, blower fan motors and I found this one had, I think, 45 reviews. Five star review across the board. Couldn't say no to that. Um, and what I'm gonna recommend, I, I bought this little finger ratchet. I think I got it at Northern Tool. I will try to find a link to that product. But man, this really is worth its salt for doing uh, under dash stuff that you can hardly reach so um, I have the uh, 730 second socket on here and you're gonna need a also a screwdriver to pop off the little clips so starting under the dash here you got these two retaining clips there's one here and one here we'll try to get a close-up here this uh, little center part I went ahead and dropped it you want to pop that out all the way and it comes out and then you can just take your little screwdriver get that the rest of the way out you can do the same over here I just got that one out in one fell swoop and then this should just pop right down I think there's oh there's one more back here I'm sorry I should have oh, I forgot about that there's one more back here yeah okay we got that one all right so there's three Now that third one's out, this just pops right out. Let me just go ahead and take your little light out. Now we look up under here, and there is your blower fan. And as you can see, there is a bolt right there. There's one right there, and there's one right there. Well, as I'm trying to find a good angle for the camera here, I don't even know if any of this is getting recorded, but I'm gonna crawl under here. There. one that's what these look like 730 seconds it really works good for this one that's way back by the firewall oh, that one's captured And here we go, voila, it's out. All right, so this electrical connector looks like you're gonna need a screwdriver. Gently pry this out. And she's out. If you can see the original, oh, let's turn that around there. Made in Vietnam. Let's see where this new one's made. Oh, very nice. Got 
some warranty cards in here. Free oil changes for a year. Woo! Does this say where this one's made? No origin sticker on it. And you can see this. It's got the same little vent tube. This is the original on the right, by the way. I gotta remember to get my bolts that's stuck on there out. Let's see how well this one spins. Oh yeah, this one spins better. Yeah, that thing is seasoned up. This one just, yeah. Well, here we go. Wanted to note before we put this up here that this only orients one way. And you'll find that out when you go in there. But this new, both motors have like this little rubber tab that is like arrow shaped that is pointed towards the uh, passenger side of the car. You'll see it when you get it up in there that there's really only one way you can orient this. The bolts are staggered. But it's essentially the where the electrical connector is falls kind of in line up under here where the where this plugs in. So now that we have orientation figured out, turn the ratchet back where it and we'll get these screws ready to go and we'll plug her in. Get that little uh, tab there oriented towards the passenger side. And she just falls right in. Not really helping with my bald head in the way here, but these bolts go right on. So I got the phone under here. This is zoomed all the way out. But uh, so I just kind of have it hanging by the bolts here. And this is this one is where that little rubber tab goes, pointing the, to the passenger side footwell there. So as I'm holding the camera with one hand, get in here with the ratchet, tighten these up. Easier said than done. Back to the tripod. And I'm kind of holding the fan into position as I'm snugging these bolts down. At least that first one. This finger ratchet is amazing. You know, you can just spin it, and then when you start hitting resistance, start ratcheting like a regular ratchet. All right, and we're in. Now all there's left, get your little light, put it back in the socket, and then get this back up under here. We can get our clips. Don't forget to put the little center piece in. front and don't forget the third one back up here right there all right all there's left to do let's try it out That on vent all the way. There we go. Ooh, just blowing out real nice. Man, even stronger than the old one. I noticed a difference. 
stop your squawking. Well, there's another one. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, if it was helpful. And do me a favor, hit the subscribe button. And thanks to everybody who has subscribed. I really appreciate it. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks for visiting.